Hey there, it's Rich Formadoni from Korg USA. I'm here at Craft Music with the Arp Odyssey. The new Arp Odyssey is a faithful recreation of the original synth from the 70s. It was designed under the supervision of David Friend, the designer of the original Arp Odyssey. It looks just like the Mark III version, but it has characteristics of all three. For example, here's a switch that lets you select three different filter types. So here's filter number one. Here's filter number two. And number three. They all have very different sounds, giving you a wide palette of sonic tools to play with. The Odyssey is a two oscillator synth, and it is duophonic. It also has oscillator sync, which gives you lots of different tonal possibilities. On the left side are proportional pitch controls that give you pitch bend downwards, upwards, and vibrato. There's a portamento slider just above that, and there's a mode switch that lets you choose between the two different portamento behaviors that existed on the Odyssey over its life cycle. There's a transpose switch to quickly go from two octaves up to standard to two octaves down. When set to square wave, you can use some great pulse width modulation on each oscillator. So I'm gonna set it to LFO, and crank it up. The Odyssey also has a noise generator which can generate white or pink noise. So using that and the envelope generator you can do things like sculpt snare drums, hi-hats, and so on. We've also included a drive switch. Now what this will do is add a really nice sounding overdrive. So first let's hear it without, and now with. There are two envelopes on the Odyssey. There's an attack and release envelope generator and a full ADSR envelope generator. You can route them to different things, which is great because I could use the attack and release envelope just for the filter while the ADSR is operating on the amp. So you have a lot of flexibility there. It also has sample and hold and a great ring modulator. We've added some modern touches to the Odyssey to uh, make it compatible with today's studios. It has MIDI input as well as USB in and out. It also has a headphone output with a dedicated volume control, and that didn't exist on any of the original Odysseys. The rest of the back panel is configured just like the Mark III, with the CV gate in and out and XLR plus quarter inch outputs. The case design looks an awful lot like the Mark III, and we've actually extended the length of the bottom and side of the case to better protect the key bed. The new ARP Odyssey is 86% of the original size with smooth, fast, responsive mini keys. It's very lightweight, fits on a modern studio desk on the second tier of a keyboard stand. It's really easy to get around with. Speaking of getting around, each Odyssey comes with its own semi-hard shell case. The Odyssey is a very flexible synthesizer that's really fun to play and very easy to program. So once you get yours from Kraft Music, we encourage you to experiment. So that's the new ARP Odyssey. For more information and for great deals, please contact Kraft Music. Once again, I'm Rich Formadoni. Thanks for watching.